Welcome back to another video and hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to take a look at a solution that will allow us to control any device on our existing network. Now, in the past, we have seen some solutions that will allow us to send HDMI signal over a single Ethernet cable. But here, the biggest advantage is that we will be able to control the device and send HDMI signal over our existing network. And this is just huge. We will not need to pass any other cables. We will just take advantage of our network. Basically, it will send the HDMI signal from our source, which can be a computer or any device like a DVD player, Apple TV or any other. And then with our transmitter, we will be able to capture that HDMI signal. But not only that, also the USB connection or infrared connection that will allow us to control with a keyboard, a mouse, a gamepad or an infrared remote our source which might be on this division of the house and i may be controlling it from our bedroom living room and so on so this is probably the best solution available on the market right now to take advantage of one single source over our existing network so having that in mind let's take a closer look at it Inside the package, we will find the HDMI over IP extender encoder slash transmitter, the HDMI over IP extender decoder slash receiver, which we will see a little bit better how it works. We will also find two infrared cables, two power adapters and one user manual. Now the HDMI over IP extender encoder slash transmitter has one HDMI input, one Ethernet port, infrared output and one USB type B. On the other hand, the HDMI over IP decoder slash receiver has a HDMI output, one Ethernet port, a infrared input and two USB A ports. The HDMI over IP extender encoder or transmitter will connect to the PC. It will receive the HDMI signal that comes out of the PC and it will connect via USB to the PC so that it, we are able to control it. It will connect to our network switch and send all that signal. Then on any other point of our network, we will place the HDMI over IP decoder or receiver that will connect the HDMI ports to any TV or projector, will connect the network cable to the switch and connect the keyboard and mouse so that we can control the computer at a distance, which allows transmission up to 4K 30 hertz if it's up to 40 meters or 1080 60 hertz if it's up to 150 meters without any latency. But let's check out some examples. And now with a local setup where we have one computer, the transmitter, the receiver, and they are both connected via this Ethernet switch. Now, it's a local connection, just as an example, but we could connect the receiver anywhere on our network without being directly connected to the transmitter. Now, to understand better the process, we have a USB cable right over here, type B to type A, which is connected to the computer and will allow us to control the computer. And we also have the HDMI cable that comes out from the computer and it will feed in the signal on our transmitter. Now, the transmitter is connected via one Ethernet cable to this switch. And then another cable is connected from the switch to the receiver and on the receiver we have a peripheral which at this moment is a combo of keyboard and mouse and if i want i can control the computer and one of the things that we can notice is that there is no delay at all so if we want to play games or anything else we can without any issues whatsoever so the hdmi cable connected to the receiver will be the one that we will connect to our display and of course this is a local setup as i said just as an example but if i was on another room i just needed to connect the receiver to my switch and then i could connect the hdmi cable to one of my projectors or my tv and i can be controlling the computer that is here on the basement from my bedroom or from a living room now i did not connect the infrared cables included because at this moment i'm not using any remote 
remote. But if we have any peripheral, like a remote control that we want to use for Netflix or Plex or Jellyfin or any other kind of app, we can take advantage of the infrareds and connect these two cables right over here. So in terms of local setup, this is it. The greatest advantage that we have here is that instead of connecting directly the receiver to the transmitter, we are connecting to the network. And although it's locally, I can just pick this one up and take to any other division of my home. And I just need to connect it to the ethernet cable. And that is it. And now we are on the ground floor. And the computer is down below on the basement, on the office, and we have the receiver right over here connected to my main switch. And I've got a keyboard and mouse, the same setup that we have down below, connected right over here. And the HDMI cable is connected to my TV. So in this example, I'm controlling the computer that is on the basement using the keyboard and mouse right over here. And as we can see, and by the tests that I've made so far, the delay is exactly the same, which is non-noticeable if there's any. So we can control the computer and do anything that we want, playing games or browse our email without having a computer right over here. And the great thing, and I'll show you an image, is that we can have multiple receivers. So I can have one receiver on this TV, I have another receiver on another TV, and that will allow me to control one single computer on several divisions of our home using one single network. Now, this is important. I am connected to my main switch. And this is important because we need to be connected to that main switch to be able to connect that. We can just control the computer anywhere on our network can do anything that we want, which is just awesome. On our examples, we used a computer, which is probably one of the most complex devices that we can use on this setup. But if we want, we can use a DVD player, a VCR, a Android TV box, a Apple TV 4K, any device that we want to control it via USB, like a keyboard, mouse, a gamepad, or even infrared remote control. So any device that we want, we can just use it and we can push it a little bit further. You have seen some of the Aura HDMI switches. So if we want, we can have multiple sources, not only one. We can connect those to a HDMI switch and then we can connect the HDMI switch to the HDMI extender over IP. And in this particular case, then we can select the DVD, the VCR, the Apple TV or our computer and whatever is connected to the switch will be fed in into the extender and then we will open a broad possibilities in terms of our setup, having one centralized place with all our devices and then feed them in over our network and control them on the place that we want. The only limitation that we did find is that we will need to use one main switch to connect to the receiver and the transmitter. If we start adding switch after switch, then we will lose the connection. But that was the only limitation that I did find. So if you have a normal network with one switch and you have all your connectivity right over there, then you will be just fine. Hope that you enjoyed the video and to know a little bit better about this awesome solution. And if you did, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing it so, so that we can share to that side with you all the features, news, and some tips that we find interesting and share that with the community. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.